Certainly we've said it before, but nothing like a couple of wins to get the impetus going again. Yeah, and as as uh, every season, Easter weekend is a big one. I'm pleased to say it's a big one for us and we're involved in the in the, in the playoff mix uh, with the possibility of doing that. So yeah, big weekend, obviously all of our focus on the Walsall game at the moment, building up to playing a side that will be... Working hard to, you know, similar to where Oxford were last week, uh, looking over their shoulders slightly and wanting enough points to make sure they secure uh, League One status for next year. So, difficult game for us, but, you know, we're pleased with, as you say, the last two games, two good, different, different games, totally different games, different conditions. But uh, next challenge for us is all, all that matters. We want to build on these and um, in terms of personnel, it's very similar personnel. We, we have... Uh, the likes of Hawkins, Stuart O'Keefe, back and around it for this weekend, uh, which is good news as well, and only strengthens our um, experience level, our competition, uh, hopefully our options on the day. I suppose in an ideal world, you'd have liked to have played it on Good Friday. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Uh, you know, even looking at one or two games playing tonight on a on a Thursday evening, Gillingham MK Dons. You know, it's not televised, which would have given, I'm sure, both sides a little bit more stretch. So, you know, understand and realise though you know Wolves all have their own reasons and and it'll be you know for, for them for for their organisation and then after that we get on with it we play and um, uh, we do our best and we adapt great to have the players coming back that you mentioned and I suppose with a double header now you need your squad around you yeah you do and, and we've been at times slightly young uh, competitive though and uh, done well enough to stay within touching distance which is you know credit to the players everybody does suffer injuries as well and you know it's not exclusive to us um, but when you you know you come out as the manager and you see uh, more competition a higher standard of training and um, uh, 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 just generally more of your your players uh, available it gives you encouragement going into the games you always said going back a few weeks and people you know some people laughed but you said we can still make the playoffs and it's proven right what a topsy-turvy division it is yeah fifth and sixth is still open for us as it is for a number of teams it's a big finish anyway and we've needed you know a high number of consecutive wins we know that to get there you know we're gonna we're gonna still need we have two on the two on the spin but we need a high high number of consecutive wins and uh, we're uh, uh, as a club uh, we're capable of it because of the, the passion of our crowd and how momentum can swing very quickly here uh, in our favour. And also I feel the quality of the players, the quality and the desire of the players to do well has always been there and it will continue to be that way uh, over this weekend. So it's about consistency now. Yeah, it is. Uh, enjoying the challenge because there are big challenges coming up now over the weekend. Enjoying those challenges, rising to it, making sure we get our, our ideas and our game plan over and, and, and correct. Uh, and then on the day, make sure we give it everything we've got to, to be successful. We'll have a very good travelling support there on Saturday. Uh, we have to look forward to it, relish the challenge and, and make sure we come out on top. Half the games you've got, in fact, against teams that are there or thereabouts themselves. Yeah, it's very much in our own hands, and with eight games to go, it's good to be able to say that. And it's you know credit to the players and to the supporters that we've been in that stage of of um, you know new to League One after you know, four years in League Two. So you know we're we're eight games, we still have it very much in our hands because, as you say, you know we can directly affect the people that are around us by playing them. And Warsaw, anything less than a win? No, we're always going for a win. We've drawn very few games this season and um, uh, because we have gone for it. You know, we've generally gone for it and, and, and uh, opened the games up and it's kept us within touching distance and it won't be any different this weekend. You know, we're not going to necessarily sit back. We're going to try to at attack as best we can and, and make sure that um, uh, we go for that win and give it everything that we've got. And looking at our away record of late, we've, we've got nine points out of 12 on the road and, and against always, you know, tricky, tricky opposition and difficult difficult games Saturday, Saturday will be no different but um, again one I'm looking forward to and uh, you know I'm sure for the players a rise to the challenge with those bodies coming back it's an enviable choice for you do you envisage going with the same team given the two wins yeah I don't think we'll be too far off you know the side that that finished on, on Saturday obviously and um, you know with the, the bench I think being you know slightly strengthened by one maybe two uh, two bodies coming back